Just one word uh, for the Vesper uh, today um, as we're coming to you on Sunday, uh, February the 18th. Delighted, so delighted to kick off our 40 Days of Passion. Um, in fact, even on the front of the cover of the book, check this out. Uh, there you have it. I've shown it before. Uh, spiritual Formation and Renewal. Spiritual Formation and Renewal. Uh, the Apostle Paul uh, says that uh, Galatians 4.19, that he, it's as if he were in the throes of labor pains until Christ is formed in you. Spiritual formation, Christ being formed in us. Um, one little word today I mentioned at the beginning of the Vesper, just one word, and it's the word context, the word context. Notice, if you would please, uh, today's lesson, uh, Sunday, day one. It's there pulling in 2 Corinthians 5. Uh, 11 through 21, highlighting verse 17. 11 through 21, highlighting verse 17. Uh, the navigating phrase for this 40 days is in Christ, in Christ. The key verse, you find it in parentheses at the end of the reference, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, if anyone, if any man be in Christ, they are a new creation. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. But to fully understand uh, what that phrase and that verse say, you need to look at the context. What did Paul or what does Paul say before it? What does he say after it? What's the culmination? What's the conclusion? What's the main idea? Um, and so that's what we'll be doing over the next 40 days, uh, not necessarily through the Vespers, but just saying here at the church through this 40 days of passion. The same is true for life. Again, one key word today, the word is context. Whenever you see someone's action or hear someone's word, uh, consider the context. Um, consider what they're going through. Consider where you are. Um, consider everything. Look at the context. Consider the context and let that influence how you will respond, desiring an appropriate and godly response, how you will respond to the things that people do and the things that people say. There is always a context to everything. Um, I was reminded of this from a Bible teacher I heard recently and reminded also it's one of Ellen's favorite uh, principles in Bible study. Always look at the context. So if you're doing the 40-day study, if you haven't uh, begun, you can begin today. Uh, get on our website, highpoint.org. There's a PDF file there. You can follow the verses and do the studies. There'll always be a uh, a parenthetical verse, a verse in parentheses at the end of the reference, but it is very important that you look at the verses before and consider the context. Key word today is context. God bless you. Have a good evening.